Hi, I'm Travis uh, Cohen. I'm a uh, lecturer in the politics department, a lecturer in quantitative uh, political science. Um, and so I'm going to be talking to you a bit today about um, selling statistics to undergraduates, particularly in the social sciences, uh, because that's what I came here uh, to this country to do. Um, a little bit on my career tra trajectory before this, just because I think that's what I should have been doing. Uh, it's a good um, a good lesson for any of you budding students, just interpret the question how you want to interpret it. Um, so, uh, before this, I was um, an applied statistician at Harvard Law School, uh, where I ran the um, statistical services unit uh, and taught stats uh, to law students. And so, I made sort of a career out of teaching um, statistics and trying to communicate statistics to people that have no idea what really <laughs> statistics do or what they can do. Um, and so from there, um, it was over here, and um, since then I've been, um, yeah, trying to um, to get undergraduates in the social sciences to appreciate kind of the value of statistics. And so um, this is from the Nuffield Foundation, so the UK has a shortage of uh, social science graduates with quantitative skills needed uh, to evaluate evidence, analyze data, and design and commission research. And so. Um, when I, I came here as part of the QSTEP program, and so the QSTEP program is an, a, an initiative um, from the Nuffield Foundation um, and several other um, organizations. It's a $20 million, or, sorry, pounds, <laughs> a $20 million pound, uh, investment in teaching um, social science uh, students um, uh, statistics. And so as part of that here, we now have a BSc in uh, politics, a uh, bachelor of science and politics. I see one of my students back there trying to hide. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, so yeah, as part of this, we really are trying to fill this gap. And so we heard about the gap and kind of um, uh, the, the, the people available to fill posts in sort of statistics jobs. And I'd say no, nowhere is this gap as large as it is um, in the social science kind of sector here in this country. There are quite a few, and this is basically, uh, you know, Nuffield, um, their, why they put this kind of uh, into the social sciences and undergraduate um, education and statistics is precisely because <coughs> was, employers were telling them that students were not leaving university with these sorts of skills. Um, so, so yeah, so that is, um, that is that. Um, so, how do you sell a social science <coughs> on statistics? Well, employability is one big aspect, right? So, we've all kind of heard this. You know, I keep saying, the sexy job in the next 10 years will be statisticians, right? So, this is um, uh, how we're in Google, right? But he, does, he goes on to say the ability to take data, to under, be able to understand it, to process it, to extract value from it, to visualize it, to communicate, it's going to be a hugely important skill in the next decades, right? And so, in key step, Right? That's, that's the piece we're really trying to do. Right? We're trying to train students to be able to understand data and communicate with somebody um, about data. Right? So more we're thinking of um, the, our students as sort of bridging agents right? between what you might get as a, in a, you know, a mathematical statistician uh, and um, a policymaker of some sort. Right? So uh, we're looking for, for people to, to fill those gaps. And those jobs do exist, um, and they exist kind of in, in droves. Um, and so you know, I'm happy to, to speak more about that. So employability is one thing, but we also are, are uh, certainly trying to um, pitch to our students that that's not the only thing, right? Getting a job is fantastic. Um, but, uh, you know, being a, um, a, a good social scientist, right? Scientist is, a, um, is an important um, aspect as well, right? Being a, uh, an active uh, member of society, right? Being able to read uh, newspaper articles, etc., cetera, and being able to actually understand when you're getting duped um, is, is a very important skill to get across, right? So um, we kind of have all these sorts of um, arguments going for us uh, there at QSTEP. And so I've actually been um, shocked at how um, our undergraduates have really risen to the occasion um, with us. I think they've just exceeded my kind of expectations. Um, 
Uh, and this is, uh, this is certainly true of the students just coming in uh, to the BSc program. Uh, so I do think there's quite a bit of, um, it's a kind of a hopeful um, scenario um, with QSNAP, and I do think we will see uh, kind of major, major improvement um, in that regard. So what's the biggest challenge? Currently it is this kind of math anxiety, what I would call math anxiety. Um, uh, yeah, we don't say maths. Um, so Einstein's favorite, uh, famous quote, um, he was comparing himself to mathematical physicists, you know, we're kind of comparing ourselves to, I don't know, maybe smart elementary school students, <laughs> right? But, um, but nevertheless, students do come in uh, with quite a bit of anxiety. Uh, that's probably not the students in this room, um, but, but it is there. And so we've, we've found it challenging um, to deal with this, <coughs> but once we can get past kind of this initial um, kick up, um, uh, students have been responding uh, really well. So I'm happy to talk more about uh, QSTEP or uh, stats in the social sciences um, at the wine and cheese. So I'm later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>